Now the Thunder, the news to Warburg, brought to you by Parker Hennepin. And to give you the color commentary on the Warburg, they change it to the Cleveland House of Warburg.
so that the North American aviation can meet the impossible, producing the first model in 117 days. While the best all-around America built fighter of World War II, it was fast and more maneuverable, and both the force had a greater cruising range than any other fighter in the U.S. Army Air Force. The bomb static is laid out on the west end of the field near the terminal. The historic failure to recognize the island is the famous T-28 Trojan. All of these great aircraft, whether individually owned or owned by the various flying regimes, such as the Warbirds of America, the Division of EAA, the Confederate Air Force out of Hollins in Texas, and their respective wings throughout the United States, and of course, the Yankee Air Force out of Willow Run Airport near Ann Arbor, Michigan, all preserving a part of our history and our heritage. And of course, the part of Hannafin, the sponsor of the Warbirds, one of the main, top names in Playbook supplies fluid power systems and parts for some of the largest aircraft manufactured in the world. Dependability, versatility, and quality are proper standards. Parker Hannafin is one of Cleveland's largest corporations and a proud sponsor of the 1987 Cleveland National Air Show. We thank Parker Hannafin for supplying the funds for the world. Let's give Parker Hannafin a great big round of applause because they richly deserve it. In all the years that I've been coming to Cleveland, Parker Hannafin was one of the top teams on the Cleveland National Air Show list. So we thank those people. The Glen Lamont is now recovered, the O2B is on a slow flyby, and we have the T-6s and the SMJ. You know, you can stop down by these warbirds, take pictures, look at them. The B-17 is open for tour. A slight donation to help the free maintenance cost will be uh, requested from you, but if you want to see a piece of history, please run down there during the show or after the show today. This is the second of the free grade day 1987 Cleveland National Air Show. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we've got the Warbirds being recovered once again, back to the voice of the 1987 Pinkman National Show, Mr. Danny Bozeman. Danny, take it away. Thank you, Mr. Bill Warlow. We appreciate your comments and all the knowledge you have on the Warbirds. And I thank Mr. Parker and Hannah for bringing in all of the Warbirds, the ground display airplanes, this weekend.